Hi, my name is Anis Ansari. I'm a program manager on the Dynamics AX Enterprise Portal team. Today we will see Enterprise Portal and how it can help your organization achieve business success. Enterprise Portal is a web-based self-service portal. It provides an organization's employees, customers, and partners with instant access to business information, processes, and tools. Let's take a quick look at the key value propositions for Enterprise Portal. Enterprise Portal delivers an exceptional experience, allowing end users to accomplish their tasks quickly and efficiently. It does this by providing a familiar, flexible, and efficient user interface. Enterprise Portal enables developers to save time and cost by writing less code. Our enhanced development tools and framework help developers quickly respond to changing business needs. We have also made it very easy and efficient for administrators to install, manage, and deploy Enterprise Portal, helping you lower your total cost of ownership. Let's take a look at Enterprise Portal from the perspective of an end user. Enterprise Portal comes with a set of modules like sales, procurement, employee services, corresponding to the various business functions. Here, I'm in the employee services module. As an employee, you can clearly see all the functionality available to you. You can submit expense reports, you can order products, you can enter your time off, and much more. Let's dig deeper into the expenses section. On this page, you can see that we have used popular UX patterns and concepts that users are already familiar with. At the top, there's navigation to switch between the various sections. Currently, I'm in the expenses section, so it is clearly highlighted. I could use this to switch to the order product section. Within a section, users can use the set of links on the left-hand side of the page to go to a particular page within that section. I'm currently in the expense reports area, so that is highlighted in here. Above the list, you can see that actions are very clearly categorized using the Microsoft Office ribbon layout. This makes these very discoverable. In the list, we have detailed information about the record, and you can see even more information in the preview pane below. If you change your selection, the preview pane automatically updates. This is great because you don't have to navigate away from the page to see more information. Once you have found the record that you're looking for, you can simply click on the link and start working with it. In this detail page, we have categorized everything cleanly in these expandable, collapsible sections called fast tabs. You can use these to focus on the information that you are looking for. We also have an action pane at the top. We have a two-column layout that makes optimum use of the screen space. And also notice that this is open in a modal window. So your list page with the entire context is preserved for you in the background. So once you're done with this record, you simply close this window and pick up where you left on the list page. If you go to another module in Enterprise Portal, for example, I'm in the Sales module, you will see similar UX patterns and concepts being applied. So here I have the top navigation, which lists the modules that are available to me, like procurement, compliance, project management. On the left-hand side, I have a set of links as before. Notice that we can even display a hierarchy in there. You have the action pane at the top, you have the list here with the preview pane that displays extended information. And on the side, you have fact boxes on this page. They display related information. As before, you can click on the link to start working with the sales order. Next, let me show you how easy it is to build these kind of experiences using Enterprise Portal. So here's the development workspace. And here's the form that I model for the expense report page I showed you earlier. We have made it really easy to create this page in Enterprise Portal. So once you have modeled this form, you create a corresponding menu item. And on that menu item, 
when you right click, you have an option to deploy to EP. What that does is behind the scenes, it will do all the work for you, and the framework will build the page for you. And that is an active connection. So if you happen to change the original form, your changes are automatically reflected in the enterprise portal page. Finally, if you choose to work in Visual Studio, we have a great set of user controls. We have lots of templates and other things to help you get started. I hope that gave you a good overview of Enterprise Portal in Dynamics AX 2012 and how it can help your organization improve productivity, speed up development, and lower cost, and achieve business success. Thanks for watching. For more information on Dynamics AX or Enterprise Portal, please visit our product page on Microsoft.com.